are back to talk about retirement and how you prepare for it. Have we been making sense to you so far? Or maybe you have not watched. Let me give you an idea of what you have missed so that you could quickly go back and watch and then come back to this. In this DIY section, we focused on how to prepare. And we identified three umbrellas. One is the cognitive preparation. You need to find out what that means by watching the video. We, need, we have also spoken about the behavioral preparation and we had a lot to speak about under that. You need to also check that and see what we've been speaking about. And now we're in the almighty financial preparation. Yes, financial preparation. And we will take a couple of weeks to just properly wallow in this and illuminate it properly. So, when we talk about financial preparation, as far as retirement is concerned, people think about savings, they think of investment, and those are valid thoughts, very correct. But there is something that goes before savings, there is something that goes before investment, and that is proper financial management. We have spent time to deal with this properly on this channel. I'm inviting you to go watch. But for the purpose of just bringing the relevant point here, if you do not learn proper financial management and if you do not apply that learning, you are not likely going to be able to save. And if you do not save, you are not likely going to be able to invest. So I, I take that again. The equation is you have a sound financial planning, then you can save, then you can invest. Therefore, how do you go about this? If you are thinking and you remember that a day will come when your inflow will not be as heavy or as regular as it currently is, then you want to start living on a budget. You must learn how not to consume everything that comes for whatever reason. No matter how small it is that you are earning, you must learn to live within a budget. And the first step in learning to live within a budget is to learn to cut your coat according to your cloth. See, most of the time, the things that consume our uh, income when we are actively employed are usually frivolities. Granted that when you are starting, a young man wants to buy a good car, a young man wants to dress fine, a, a, a young lady wants to appear classy and all of that. But that shouldn't go too far into your career. Maybe six months, give yourself six months to, to spoil yourself for having attained that level. But from then, you need to start living on a budget. Stop buying things because you are competing with others. We have touched on this in different parts of the of the of our curriculum so far. We've touched on it when we spoke about financial planning. We've talked about, we've touched on it when we spoke about life life balance. Stop chasing. Competition doesn't exist. The only person you should be competing with is yourself. Stop competing with anybody else. Stop buying things to impress people who do not see you. Things that you do not need. Learn. Learn to live within a budget. And learn to keep your budget way below your income so that you give yourself a headroom for savings and for investment. Now, yes, you will hear about savings that money is not a good store of value. True? Why? The time value of money makes sure that one naira yesterday is not the same as one naira today or one naira tomorrow. But let me tell you something you won't see or get taught very readily in business school. Cash is king. The person who has the cash has the business. You may certainly lose a part of your value when you save, but you can be sure that when you remember what is called compound interest, where every day 
both the capital and the interest is again compounded and interest is calculated on top of it you realize that you are not far off from the value that you started with it may not be appreciating but certainly with the right level of smartness financial smartness which will come to it will certainly not be depreciating so what you need to do first and foremost when it comes to financial preparation is to remember that your inflow will not always be this heavy this regular and this strong you therefore from today whether it's five years from now you are planning to retire or next year or you are just starting learn to live on a budget it frees up your a part of your income for savings and then your savings accumulated can become investment it also helps you to plan you have an idea of how much you need so if your target is to have 10 years of savings or 10 years of your running cost i meant to say before you retire it helps you to know if you want to get a house either you want to build you want to buy it helps you to know exactly how much you are working towards therefore saving is foundational foundational to preparing not just even for retirement but for how well you will live right now if you will not end up in debt and if you'll be ready for a functional financial situation when it comes to retirement now is the time to start saving how do you save come up with a budget make sure your budget is lower than your income and gives you a headroom and then you're your way there next week we will now begin to get into the details having saved how do you deal with it particularly with retirement what are the things you need to pay attention to what do you do with investment how do you go about it what are the types of investments you should be thinking of having are you an entrepreneur how do you prepare for retirement all these are the things we will be exploring in the next couple of weeks and i invite you to keep our company and keep the appointment with me so again i request you to let's have your feedback if there's something you want us to clarify or tell i mean or speak to let us know and if there is anything you want to commend us for feel free to share we are always encouraged when we read from you i hope to see you next week but before then don't forget that Mark is still my name, Dila is still the channel, and that all we are trying to do here is what? Make a little difference. Take care of yourself and have a good time. Bye.